What's up guys? This is Captain Tyler with Real Floridian Fishing. I got Captain Chris with me today and we had the day off so we're gonna go out sword fishing. A little bit snotty out there but we heard the bite was on. We're geared up ready to rock and roll. Got about a 20 mile run out of the Hillsboro Inlet here so uh, we'll see you out there. this sword for about 20 30 minutes now we had him up within 40 feet of the boat and then he just took us back down to 200 foot in about literally 10 seconds not even three seconds he ripped it all the way down so we've uh we got eyes on the fish looks like a good fish and uh hopefully we land him I would do a big circle and get back facing where I could see again. 
Yeah, there he goes. He's back down to 200. Took us all the way from 40 feet all the way down to 600 in about 20 seconds. the shakes when we hooked this fish you gotta drink a beer to chill out and i was like you can't throw a harpoon with your hands like this you know all right guys we're back on the wind on now a little bit of relief there since this is like 250 pound mono versus 80 pound braid he sounded us all the way down to 600 foot and now we got him 125 and uh, now we're about to see what happens here. If he jumps, you need to have the camera on, on the fish, okay? Alright, slow down on all the on all the gear shifter for a second. Just let us let's fight. Pushing us away from him. Go ahead and slowly drive. This way. Pushing us away from him and against the current. Yeah, go ahead and slide. Yeah, slide us this way a little bit. There he goes. Yeah, I want to get scope. Get ready. Watch. Watch out the there. There he is. There he is. There he is. Woo! Big fish. Big Woo! fish. Yeah. Go ahead and drive kind of slowly to him and let me throw the poon. Let me throw the poon at him. guys so as you can see that was a total bummer uh, what happened there was the sword rushed the engines and it made me think that the reel was broken because it went completely slack from tight and it made Captain Chris think that the fish pulled the hook with my Costas I actually couldn't see the line was coming in I thought the thing was just spinning freely because we had been having some issues with that LP uh, anyways, total user error, totally my mistake. If you go back and look, the fatal mistake I made was putting the drag up. So uh, that LP was actually having a drag issue where if it was at level one, it was a good drag. And if it was at level two, it was rip the fish's face off drag. So what happens was um, I thought the fish was off. I put it back to level two. That's where we set it when we set the bait. And uh, next thing you know, the fish is on, he's under the boat, and he ripped that hook right out of his mouth. So uh, I saw that fish clearly. I estimate him about around 300 pounds. is one of the biggest ones I've ever seen near the boat. Uh, so total heartbreaker. But um, we had some nice mahi-mahi swim up, as you can see, which kind of made us feel a little better. But obviously uh, didn't satisfy me. So we woke up hungry the next day and got back out there. Check out uh, part two of this episode to see what happens. All right, guys, we were a little bummed out because we had about a 300 pound sword pull hook right under the boat. Well, a couple nice little Maui Maui swam up. That'll make your day a little better. 